श्री महा चैतन्य महाप्रभु हाउस महाप्रभु डांस्ड नाम संकीर्तन to to the point when he went to take sanyas when he announced or had this inclination to take sanyas they began to cry in in the thought of mahaprabhu taking sanyas i will speak a little bit of the siddhant of this if you listen with attention you will understand there is one bhavi viraha bhavi viraha and bhavuk viraha three types of we have to try try and understand bhavi viraha apni priyajan paas mein hai aur when our beloved is with us and after some time they uh, separate this is known as bhavi viraha bhavan viraha that separation that is continuous presently present country present continuous tense that is going on that is called bhavan viraha bhava viraha is that many days have passed in separation bhavya viraha milan is also meeting is also in the same way bhavi bhavya milan bhavan milan abhi is sabhi is liye bol raha tha i was speaking on the subject that chaitanya mahaprabhu he's not taken sanyas as yet he's not left navadvip he's still in navadvip only chaitanya mahaprabhu he indicated to some of his associates that he wants to take sanyas why he wants to take sanyas two reasons those who did not want to take mahaprabhu's prem dharma because he had uh, announced and pr- promised when i come from the golok nitya dham that which is very rare for the uh, demigods to attain i will distribute to others kadwa nindu nindu pasandi pasandi aur kutarki kutarki suska gyani aur aur and mayavadi right write it down carefully what did i say kutarki kutarki pasandi शुष्कक ज्ञानी मायावादी नहीं चार हो दो पाशंदी पाशंदी बोले पाशंदी न्यायवादी शुष्क ज्ञानी कोडवा पोडवा पोडवा ये प्रेम वर्णन सुनिए अरे आप देखो के बार बार पूछ के राइट फर्स्ट एंड देन यू गिव अस जो जो पढ़ने वाले हैं उसके कोई मतलब नहीं है वो जो पढ़ते हैं किंतु सम पीपल रीड बट स्टिल दे डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द पोडवा पोडवा पढ़ते रहते हैं पढ़वा दे जस्ट 
keep reading and reading, studying. Just even what is the what is the uh, purpose of just studying? Tulsidas in Ramcharit Manas is said. What is the purpose of studying? If one, if the reason for studying is that we should attach to the lotus feet of the Lord. <coughs> Some people just study for the sake of studying, but there's no purpose to their studying. Purva, Kurtaki, Pashandi, Shushka Gyani, Mayavadi. Tarkik, 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 Tarkik Niyam. What is Pashandi? These are all atheists. They cut in that category. They do not ex Nindu. Nindu is another category. Nindu is one who criticizes. Just like ants. What is their uh, work to cut? They keep cutting. Wherever, whatever they come, they cut. That is their job. And in wood, that glue, is, they try to get that glue. They will not see the uh, uh, the glue, what qualities it has, but, but they will just try to cut. Like Madhavendra Puripa's disciple, Ramachandra Puri. Whoever he sat with, he used to criticize. Even Mahaprabhu was being fed and he criticized. And Mahaprabhu was eating so much. He, he called, he, he invited Mahaprabhu to eat, but again he forced him to eat. And then we came to Mahaprabhu, and then uh, the ants were crawling around. So, Mahaprabhu, why are you keeping sweets in, in your house? He did not keep. So, why are these, these ants in your house? So, he's saying if where there is ants, there is sweet food. Madhavendra Puri said, Why are you crying? You are Brahma. Why is why one Brahma crying for another Brahma? When Mahaprabhu is in this high stage of Mahabhav, Gurudev is saying to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you are crying. Why are you crying? Ma Mahavendra Puri, he rejected. So what I want to say is what Mahaprabhu came to give the highest prem. That I ha he came for this purpose, and for this reason he came. He took sannyas. Even, even though there is 
many reasons reasons for taking sannyas this is one main reason but to say that when chaitanya mahaprabhu was in chivas thakur's house and dancing to um, fulfill the vows and the promises of the brahmanas he took this prom <coughs> promise to take sanyas in uh, shivas's house closing the doors and performing nam sankirtan one brahmana came and knocked on the door but nobody opened the door he has the key to to keep the uh, words of shrimad bhagavatam and in the, in the shrimad bhagavatam it is written in this kali yuga chaitanya mahaprabhu will appear in the 11th canto in the conversation of navayogendra we will listen further when he took uh, some i when there was some idea of him taking sanyas but they were thinking how will we maintain our life without him then he told them navadip is my beloved land the navadip dham is so wonderful is not in in the heavenly planets i will not leave navadip dham sometimes in the direct form and sometimes in the invisible way i will be present so mahaprabhu himself said i will stay in five places for for permanence for shiva sangan he will stay is his my beloved devotee i will not leave this place to go anywhere else because shiva is his son younger son left his body in the middle of the night when chaitanya mahaprabhu was performing nam sankirtan and and in that in that in that house his son left his body and they were crying pitifully shiva stakur it explained to them if you cry so loudly then you will disturb mahaprabhu's nam sankirtan for this reason we, if uh, if you do this then i will give up my life in uh, in the ganga and in this way they stopped crying that time mahaprabhu asked shivas is there anything unauspicious that happened in your house shiva said you are the all auspiciousness how can there be inauspiciousness in my house is is this possible where the supreme personality of god it is present himself how can there be inauspiciousness it uh, inauspiciousness uh, dissipates just like the sun when rises the darkness disappears in the same way inauspiciousness cannot be presence in your presence 
Is, but Mahaprabhu continued to ask if there's anything that happened. Then Sri Vas said, Oh, my Lord, my youngest son, in the middle of the night, he left his body. Mahaprabhu said, you, Your son left his body, but you did not tell me. At that time, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he came to that boy and he put his hands on that body and then his Atma came back and he instructed Mahaprabhu asked why did you leave your body at this time and leave your parents he, then the boy replied many lives I have these mothers and fathers Every birth we get mother and father, but not every birth we get we get bodies in pigs and hogs in in heavenly planets or in hellish planets. But in that life, we can get a bona fide spiritual master and perform bhajan and sadhan then we can attain the abode of the Lord. That life is most uh, successful, most the best life. This body is temporary. This material world is temporary. The Atma is eternal. He gave like this, he spoke like this. And the boy said, Oh my Lord, everything is happening by your desire and everything is created, maintained and destroyed by your desire. In this way, it is written, you are performing Nam Sankirtan. You are the a personified form of the name. There is no difference between the name and the na the personified name. By you hearing your Nam that I return to the spiritual world, but now you have called me back. So he showed the duties of the living entities by this pastime. She was, you, there is no devotee greater than you, nor will they be in the future or was in the past. He was completely surrendered to the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he said he would stay in his house. And secondly, where Nityananda performed his uh, dancing, that place Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will always be present. There is no difference between uh, Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu, just like there is no difference between Krishna and Balaram. One body. Kalaiwal, one Atma. Nityanan Nartane. And Sachidanan uh, Sachi Mata's Angan. He gave his words to his mother, Sachi Mata, that I would never leave you. So he's eternally present there. You have heard. Once uh, Sachimata made some uh, dud loki loki, uh, loki with milk, which Mahaprabhu liked very much. Shridhar's shop he got by argument and forcefully, without even paying, he used to bring. Mocha. Mocha. 
because he had so much love and affection with Sridhar. And they both loved each other very much. Banana leaf, it's called mocha, one preparation. Do the lok loki from loki make into pieces and add milk and boil. He offered to the Lord. चावी आपके पास है शाम चावी ले लो Sachimatai thought that I did not make anything. And was thinking in her mind. And then again she made an offer to the Lord. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was at Jagannath Puri at that time. With Jagannath Pandit. And remember, I um, accepted my mother's offering directly. And this way, he is showing that he will always be with his mother in his in her home. Advaita Avan, when Advaita Chari calls me, then I will be there. In that pastime, Raghunath Dadi Mahotsav, the festival of chip rice and yogurt. And Raghav Pandit's home, and Damianti, Raghav Pandit's sister, Damianti, he will be there. He used to take many preparations uh, from Rag Rag uh, Raghav Pandit's home, uh, and in a basket or pots, not so baskets more. And he used to go with many types of preparations from his home. He used to stay in these five places. Shiva Thakur is present in all the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In Mahaprabhu's, in Ramchandra's. Uh, pastimes he was in as the form of Narad Rishi and Krishna he is also Narad Rishi in the same way all the pastimes Nar uh, Shivasi serves in many different forms Shivas Thakur Shivashtaku's wife, Malini. Malini. 
how she served Nityananda Prabhu. When Nityananda Prabhu and came to Nanda Nacharya's house, and Mahaprabhu came there, and he stayed there in the uh, uh, a condition of an avadut without wearing clothes. And then he stayed at Srivastaka's house. <coughs> and a Malini Devi uh, served Nityananda Prabhu in a motherly role with motherly affection. Mahaprabhu was at Shiva's Angan, Shiva's his house. Sachi Mother, Mother Sachi, she had so much love and affection for Mahaprabhu. this one because um, <coughs> she was ma, ma Sachi Mata was absorbed so much that sometimes her hair head would become so hot from chanting all night and then she was said to Sachi Mata He's trying to think of the name of the illness, one type of uh, anxiety where the head becomes very hot. What is it called? So you need to put oil. Uh, so she said to Srivas, this is not an illness, this is a symptom of Prem. In this condition, um, you, he, Mahaprabhu said to Srivas, you have saved Mother Sachi's uh, condition of this illness. <laughs> there are many types of pastimes like this. How Srivas was an intimate associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When she once came to Jagannath Puri, he used to take the association of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu main, mainly. In Navadvip Dham, Shivas used to perform Nam Sankirtan. This Chapal Gopal, one very uh, impersonalist and, and who criticized. He is saying that they do not perform Nam Sankirtan. They perform uh, worship of the demigoddess, drinking alcohol. Chapal Gopal, he, he uh, 
he placed the paraphernalia for worshipping goddess Devi. It's some specific paraphernalia, light, all those things that are specific to worshipping a goddess, red, uh, red, this type of red flower that is not used in the worship of Krishna. He placed this flower around the house of Shivas. She was Thakur. Early in the morning, he woke up and saw, "Look, this person is such a uh, 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 horrible person. He's uh, putting these paraphernalia in front of my house." At that time, Mahaprabhu was very angry, and and he cursed Chapal Gopal. That you will have leprosy. And so his body became covered in uh, in uh, pus and leprosy. He had a beautiful body, but Chapal Gopal had a beautiful body before. But Mahaprabhu cursed him. And his uh, family members also rejected him and threw him out of the house. And he stayed on the bank of Ganga. There. And every day, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to go for bathing in the Ganga. And when he saw Mahaprabhu, he used to cry he, and ask for forgiveness. Mahaprabhu in anger and said, "For seven lifetimes, you will you will be in hell. This is nothing. Sorry, Sorry. mosquitoes. Chapal Gopal. You, then you will attain many different types of animal bodies, and then he was very angry." How, how you have insulted Srivas and uh, criticized them. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very merciful and uh, gave him mercy. Mahaprabhu cannot tolerate the criticisms of his devotees. So we should not criticize the pure devotees. This is also one very nice pastime. In Navadvip, there was a, a pandit, a very uh, famous pandit by the name of Devanand Pandit. And there are many pastimes that our Param Gurudev used to speak of, and which he gave his mat, Devanand Gaudiya mat. He was a reciter of the Srimad Bhagavat. And regularly recited the Bhagavatam. But being a Pandit, he knew very um, elaborate rhythms and uh, uh, eloquence. So it is said, some uh, die chanting uh, Bhagavatam, but some are liberated by chanting the uh, Bhagavatam, but not knowing the conclusions, the philosophical conclusions of Bhagavatam. They use their own interpretations. So Devananda was a pandit, but with great uh, eloquence, he used to recite Gopi Gita, Brahma Gita. In his Bhagavat, Srivas uh, had come to listen. Srivas was began to cry listening to his recitation. 
Gopi Geet was being recited. Tam Ritam Tapta Jeevanam Kavivitam Talam Savam began to cry. He loudly, those who were sitting next to him became disturbed. This, who is this new devotee and who is disturbing our hearing? So they took Shiva's Thakur and threw him out. Devanand Pandit did not say anything. Mahaprabhu received this news. The next day Mahaprabhu came. And he took the Bhagavata and tore it apart. And you can see this. So Devanand, he didn't protest against Srivas Pandit being thrown out of the Bhagavad. So it was an insult of the devotee. Mahaprabhu came and ripped up the, those two Bhagavads, the person Bhagavad and the book Bhagavad. Srivas is a high, high, high caliber of Vaishnava uh, devotee. And he offended him. Some listeners, they do not know the etiquette, but Devanand, he knew the etiquette and he did not prevent this happening. So this was an offense on his part. Mahaprabhu, uh, Devanand Pandit, he took hold of Mahaprabhu's feet and asked for forgiveness, but Mahaprabhu was very angry. And there was a disciple of Vakeshwar Pandit. He was a friend of Devanand Pandit. And he pacified Mahaprabhu. And then uh, he, Mahaprabhu gave his mercy on Devanand Pandit. Listen to one more pastime of Shiva's uh, pastimes. Once he, Mahaprabhu was, was sitting with Shivas. How did you become such an elevated devotee? What, what is the um, history of your life? Please uh, tell me. He's doing this for to teach us. Shiva said, Oh my Lord, you know everything. There is nothing to hide from you. Still, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu insisted that Shiva tell him his life, how he has so much of love and affection. Then he began to explain, I took birth in a Brahmin family. But I did not uh, take up the duties of a Brahmana. I performed many 
mischievous acts that were not uh, auspicious. So for 14 years, I performed such 16 years. One night, I had a dream. One Brahmana came in my dream. He chastised me heavily. Oh foolish Suras, you took birth in a Brahmana family. You are not following the rules and regulations of this ashram. Do you, do you know the consequences? Do you know how long you will stay in this life, in this body? My body began to shake. Sri is saying, he chastised him so much, pointing his finger. It was like Nishingadev with such anger. He chastised him. Oh, foolish person. You, you have only one year to live. Uh, one year passed at 56 days. You, then I, from this chastisement, I woke up and my whole body was uh, sweating profusely. So then I began to think, what should I do in my life? One day I was uh, looking, I found this piece of paper, it was written on that paper, one shloka of Briyad Naradya Puran. This shloka was written on that paper. I began to contemplate on this verse, and so I have to chant Harinam. And I took a vow for one year, I will chant continuously Harinam. I still had the fear of death after one year. What should I do with this fear? Uh, and he, he continued to chant like this one day. It, just one day left from that time he was cursed. I sat in that Bhagwat where Devanand Pandit was reciting. And he was reciting Prahlad pastimes. Uh, very beautiful pastimes of Prahlad. Devanand Pandit was reciting very beautifully the pastimes of Prahlad Maharaj. How Prahlad Maharaj was protected by the Lord. His father, Hiranyakashipu, he tried to kill him many times in many different ways. By uh, being stamped by the feet of the elephant. Still, he was protected. He tried to throw him from a high cliff and he was saved. In this way, uh, he was hearing these pastimes. And I listened very carefully to these pastimes. He had such a sweet voice and eloquence in reciting Srimad Bhagavatam. Everybody was mesmerized. Why? I am not a devotee. 
I have wasted my life. I have not maintained my uh, Brahminical Dharma and I did not contemplate in serving in any way. Today is my last day. I am waiting for death. And then I looked in the eastern direction. The sun was, was about to set. And I was thinking of Prahlad and how he was saved, but who will save me? In this way, I was thinking. But looking at this uh, verse on this piece of paper, just thinking of the holy name, my head began to spin. And I fainted. I did not have any consciousness. And afterwards, that I was my body was brought back to the house. Everybody was crying around me. And after some time, but my body returned to consciousness again. <coughs> Hearing this, Mahaprabhu said, Who was that Brahmana? Who was, who was in your dream? Did you recognize that Brahmana yet? And he folded his hands and said, My Lord, it was you who came in my dream. In that sannyas and was chastising me. Mahaprabhu said, Think when you collapsed, where did you fall? Shiva said, I landed in your lap. Mahaprabhu said, when you, when you woke up, where were you? I, I was in your lap. It was you who saved me. And this is true. One who takes shelter of the holy names just once, I deliver that person sinful reactions. And this Mahaprabhu showed his the glories of the holy name. Once a person with great firm faith uh, becomes attached to the holy name, taking shelter of the holy name exclusively in Kali Yuga. Sumeru e Sumeru. This verse from Tulsi Das Ramen. Taking only sh exclusive shelter of the Holy Name. Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Ram. Ram, Ram, Hare Hare. In this uh, firm faith I have in the Holy Name, because of Mahaprabhu, this was the reason. Although they are eternal associates, but to teach us, He is giving instruction. The Lord to be merciful on the living entities. Some way or another, he gives his uh, darshan, but the living entities cannot understand, cannot see, cannot experience. Why? Because there's offenses. 
when that offense is uh, removed and that darshan is possible. He is an asso- eternal associate of Mahaprabhu, but still, for this to show in this pastime. Sometimes the Lord gives uh, direct darshan to the devotees, but sometimes also indirectly he gives darshan. And sometimes also inspiration in the heart. Even in the in dream, he gives inspiration and he makes that dream come true. How he had firm faith in the holy name. Only uh, the whole name of the Lord is our Savior in Kali Yuga. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. There are many pastimes of Shri Aspandit. Very. We will speak on appropriate time. Nam Pavane Pyo Vaishnave. Please excuse my shortcomings and misunderstandings. If there are any, please ask questions for any clarification.